Hello, lovely friends. Hi, guys. <laughs> Long time no hear from us. <laughs> from Living Gear 4 by 4 Exactly. In today's episode, will be a little update to all of you about what we did, what we will do, also what is to come. Will be pretty exciting videos coming for you guys. So this video is sponsored by Anchor Solix. Uh, they saw our setup and they thought they can hook us up with a power bank, uh, a powerhouse, and they really sent us a powerhouse. So we're gonna see that in this video as well. We can't wait to tell you the updates, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be pretty excited. Then stay tuned. I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our son Matteo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living given for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. So welcome back. And now enjoy the unpacking of this amazing Anchor Solix. Anchor Solix F2000 power station. And enjoy this now. All right, let's do the unpacking of this baby. There you go. Oh wow. A manual. Comes with a bag, all the plugs. This is a plug, I guess, to connect all the solar plates that you can add. This is the charging plug for the car. And this is the main plug. So these plugs come in a handy bag. Here it is. Anchor Solix F2000. Yeah. So we promised you an update, right? Yes. So, I mean, you saw that we were already in Africa and Morocco in the northern part. We got offered mm -hmm. to test uh, another truck. Yeah. Basically, same, same, but and different. South Africa. South Africa. So we flew all the way to Cape Town. Yes. With Matteo. Mm -hmm. With all his, his things. His first big flight. This is also something that we recorded the whole flight with Matteo. And I think it will be a really nice and interesting episode. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then we were in Cape Town. We checked out Cape Town a little while. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then we they finished this vehicle right there. With this vehicle, we were able to drive from Cape Town, to South Africa on the coast up all the way to namibia yes then we stayed a couple of weeks in namibia and, and we went safaris exactly we went to itosha <laughs> national park this was so gorgeous this was amazing you're yes. gonna see a lot of animals Matteo was really hyped about that yes it was great we we were with hiti and sean you're gonna be introduced to them as well mm -hmm. they were also with us it was kind of a a trip intensive intensive trip <laughs> so to speak really nice. <laughs> um because we are usually used to be free and you know yeah, do whatever our, our, time, pace. our pace but there was a little schedule behind it we are very thankful that they pushed us through yes um because otherwise we would have spent another one or two years in <laughs> true in south africa and namibia <laughs> and then we went the little on the garden route yeah, and you're gonna see all this. Yes. Couple of whales, we can say, you know, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of stuff really like that. really nice. I think you guys will enjoy a lot of those episodes. After this series of Africa, we can show a little what we were doing here in Europe the last time that we are here, the last few months. We checked out a lot of stuff in Portugal, uh, more or less privately, because obviously Matteo is growing and yeah. maybe eventually, you know, we're gonna park the rig somewhere. Yeah. But we don't know where yet. We are really with a lot of plannings in our minds. And... Exactly. We go crazy <laughs> since Matteo is here. Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> and in the end of this video, we're gonna also tell you the great news, right? Yeah, future plans, where we are going. It has three uh, plugs. AC outlets, um, it has sockets, yeah, I can open, yeah, sockets for the, for the car to charge stuff. And what's really neat about it, it has three USB-C. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but we have everything, probably everything in our truck is USB-C. And it has still two fast uh, USB charging plugs. It has a Bluetooth connection. Yeah, you can have a, a, an app on your phone and uh, you can steer and see everything from there. Here we have uh, the solar car input 
the overcharge protection and the AC input. So there we go. So this is uh, for charging, obviously. Here it says 230 volt. This is, uh, well, if something goes wrong, you can reset this. Uh, it's like a fuse, as I understood. And these are the inlets up to 20 amps for the solar plates. Nice. Uh, another good thing about this is the easy tow handle. Look, like a suitcase. Because it is pretty heavy because it's batteries, but look at this. So these are rugged, really stable. You can still carry it if you want to. There you go. So the power station came with 28%. You can see for the light, uh, we just plugged it in and let it charge for a while. All safe and secure. So in the manual, we also found out that you can uh, up to 4,096 watt hours. So basically that you have 6,000 watt uh, that you can use constantly if you have this kind of double machine from Anchor. We have here the display, obviously, we're still charging. Um, we have the button Bluetooth. You can turn it on and uh, then it should connect to the app. We have a power saving mode. Yeah, that's nice. And it shows here with a little symbol. Perfect. So after one and a half hours, it reached the 100%. So we will plug in the computer on one hand, which is, we're gonna put it right here. That's our computer, our editing machine that you can see all those beautiful videos. Gonna plug it in and immediately the display pops up. Yeah, something is happening here, that's good. So it is charging the computer. So we turn on AC outlet. So you heard the click. Now we're gonna turn, plug those three things in. And a mixer and the sous vide. So the sous vide popped up. So there you go, green jumping in. So it's working and 945 watts. So now we're gonna test, uh, not the hairdryer, maybe with a mixer. It goes up to 1069. All right, and now the ultimate test for our wheels, the hairdryer, let's see. Oh, we have reached 2,500. Let's see if we can add something to it. Oh yeah. I think it can go up to 3,000 watts. Perfect. Blowing the hair, cooking the sous vide, and mixing. And charging the computer. So I guess, oh, yep, there you go. Now you hear the sound, that's how it is. But well, when are you gonna do all those things at once? 99% after one minute. So after 10 minutes, it's at 94% and we have 955 watts going out. After 15 minutes, still performing well. Uh, in this case, it's the anchor Solix F2000 version. It has a battery capacity of 2048 uh, kilowatts. Uh, it can go up to 3000 watts, which we tested. We went to 2600. I didn't find any other device right now, but it worked out perfectly. Uh, it comes with a uh, ambient light with three buttons, really nice, uh, three stages. Yeah, so this is really a nice machine. Um, the power wheels, really rugged uh, it has this handle what we mentioned before so here we go and then you can pull it anywhere so the weight of those machines in this case don't really matter it has a really premium design we think it's really rugged um, the case is good the fan is not too loud what you hear now is our air conditioner um, not the machine and uh, yeah we're pretty satisfied with that thing. 
So for video purpose, we let it run with a full power of 1600 because the sous vide reached the temperature. But uh, yeah, about 20 minutes we are at 88%, but fully full speed. All right, guys. So here's one more last uh, test from our side because it's really important if we can use it as a backup system, maybe charging directly our RV batteries. We're gonna test now if this uh, machine can uh, immediately charge our batteries. This is a connector for European plug and we're gonna just directly plug that in the anchor. This one will go anywhere in Europe in any plug or European RVs, RV or, or when you come to a port, harbor, whatever, they have this plug. But this is a connector. So I'm gonna just start that. So we have 83%. Okay, that should do it. So now I'm gonna go outside and plug the other end, which looks like this directly in so let's see we're gonna manage there you go where does the electricity come from it comes from the anchor oh wow of course 2240 watt now it starts blowing are going out and let's check out this now yep we're loading with tooth to to yeah the amount what we see there is coming in and here we have after 2400 going out nice yeah we can charge if it's necessary we could charge our truck but to be fair, within like five minutes charging, we lost 5% of the battery capacity, which is, well, normal because we are sucking this machine dry right now. But it is possible to boost up your batteries a little. So here are the specifications. I'm not gonna go through them now. So you can read them all. I'm gonna take a picture and you can read that right here. I don't know guys, if you are interested in one of those, I'd say you guys go there and check it out. Maybe it's a good opportunity to get those machines uh, in a really good offer, in a really good promotion and price. We are off grid, we are not plugged in right now. We were charging the machine, the anchor. The, of course, here now our 230 is on and we constantly have the oven running. Uh, we have a washing machine. Let me think, the hairdryer usually, the sous vide, uh, Mateo's toys, who sleeps here. Um, yeah, all the lights are now on for the purpose of the video, is especially it's raining outside. The aircon is running, by the way, here above. Our air condition is on, look at me. I just turned it on because it was raining outside and it's very humid in Germany right now. Our fridge, obviously. So this is why uh, Anchor thought about us uh, to test this as a backup system. So basically everything that we can plug into this machine is right now working. Perfect. Anyways, we think that this machine is, can be really useful for people like us or people that travel in a car too, right? Yeah. That has like a tent or something like that. So I believe even, I mean, for our purposes, camping, RV, uh, leisure, having fun outside, we were just discussing, Isabella and me, what we could use it for, uh, because we have a good setup in our truck. So don't get us wrong, we are covered. Mm -hmm. But uh, just in case, if something goes wrong, I mean, this thing is for our size or for any boot, like trunk, car, not big, you can just throw it in. And uh, if we are outside, we can use that instead of the electricity in the truck. So you could basically save up for bad weather days or something, some electricity, mm -hmm. some, some extra. Um, mm -hmm. For housing, like we are also, like we said, we are looking constantly where we're going to live in future yeah. or where we're going to have our base. And we would like to have some off-grid solutions. So then if you have the add-on on top, yeah. so with a combination this, these two, you are you have a total backup system. Yeah. The 110 volt version comes with a 
uh, with a TT30, I think, uh, RV plug as well. Um, I didn't find that here, so this must be another version. Um, and so you could actually plug in your RV directly in this thing and mm -hmm. use it. So this will maybe change in future uh, the setup of trucks like this. You know, you just have those additional batteries, you throw them in. If they don't work, you just exchange mm -hmm. uh, instead of wiring up. I mean, we are still wired up because we wanted it like a house. Yeah. But I can see in a little van, if you just buy a van perfect. quickly, like now we want to go... Well, we don't tell you now. You're going to see that in the end of this video <laughs> where we're going to ship, but it's a different continent. I can say that. And if you don't want to ship your truck or life, uh, you could also just uh, buy a van and mm -hmm. get That's one of that. those, put it in and you, you have could plug everything a you need. fridge, you could plug air condition, a microwave, everything <clears throat> that you need. You could plug here and use the solar if you have the solar plates to charge it. Yeah. And then you don't need to go to campground if you are in a sunny area. So, yeah. This is it with the testing of the Anchor Anchor Solix F2000 <laughs> power stations. Don't forget this name. So now back to us and our update. Yeah, so we are back. Welcome back. What a surprise! <laughs> we did the summarizing of the uh, Anchor Solix already. Mm -hmm. You saw that. Mm -hmm. So thanks again for this company. Don't and forget to enjoy the those special discounts, what you can find in the links above, below or in the description. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we have no idea. Yeah. Um, that was really nice. And about our future plans. And now we talk about our future plans. Yeah. We are a long time trying to do this trip and for some reason. Let me start different. In life. Okay, sorry. We <laughs> left, uh, you know, you all know we left Mexico or you don't know, we got pregnant in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Um, then COVID came along. We wanted to spend time going down to South America, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, COVID didn't go away for a while, like we all know. So we decided to fly home to Germany and yeah. then Matteo came in this world and you heard all the story, what we yeah. did the last two and a half years in the front of the video, go yeah. back if you didn't listen to it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And then we always wanted to continue our trip. To South America. America. So uh, now in I guess September, October, we are not quite sure yet. Yeah. We're gonna go to South America in Chile. We're it's gonna our... ship this baby to Chile directly. Yeah. This is I think we are one of the first people uh, that actually got the shipping. This route. This route. So we thanks to uh, Klaus again. Uh, from Caravan Shippers, mm -hmm. uh, we are working on that really closely and yeah. again we are the guinea pigs. <laughs> like, uh, but we like that. We like that, but <laughs> it's supposedly a very safe route. We'll go through the Panama Channel from uh, uh, I think Bremerhaven or Hamburg, I'm not quite sure yet. We are working on that and it goes uh, through the Panama Channel all the way to Chile mm -hmm. and in San Antonio, I think. Yeah, and San Antonio is the Hara. Mm -hmm. So Isabella, Matteo, Uni, Basco, Basco, the two dogs, uh -huh. and me, we're gonna fly to, to Santiago. Santiago. <laughs> and that's yeah. the, the plan. It's gonna be a lot. And in Santiago, thanks uh, also to some people we met from Chile. Mm -hmm. um, they said, okay, we, they will welcome us in Santiago. Mm -hmm. And then we can stay a couple of days until the truck will arrive. Mm -hmm. We will pick up the truck and hopefully yeah, then it's going to be the summer over there, journey. the winter in Europe. Yes. And then we are planning on checking out Patagonia and all Tierra that del beautiful Fuego stuff. And all of that. <laughs> then this is, I hope that this year we will manage to do that because we sometimes do a lot of plans that doesn't work as we plan. <laughs> but yeah, this is the big, big news. And we will go now through also some things that we are doing for the truck to prepare for the big shipping. Then we will go back to Mercedes, we will go back to Krug. We are like optimizing stuff in the truck that we then bring the truck to a new continent, you know, where it's not so easy to find service and things like that. And we will try to film all of that and put in between the African videos or at the end, I don't know yet, but you guys will see a little all of that too. How is the preparation to bring it to a new continent? Exactly. So if you want to see the Mexico episodes, go to our YouTube channel we have. Mm -hmm. a Mexico playlist. If you want to see Morocco, we have a Moroccan playlist. If yeah. you want to see now, uh, well, which will come South Africa mm -hmm. and Namibia, you're going to yes. have this playlist. 
and hopefully by the end of this year you're gonna we're gonna start with the playlist oh, of south, south america, america. so the news is out yeah high five high five <laughs> matteo we took the time he's sleeping by the way yes. people are asking we have still our web page going on and we are working on new things for members and all of that we want to really go back to the youtube and be more consistent for you guys to bring a content so this is all isabella is isabella's youtube channel it's all isabella's <laughs> web page sorry guys everything is on isabella yeah and uh, yeah you can uh, book is not isabella sorry you can book <laughs> you can book a call if you yeah. have questions and obviously you need help I like doing this. This is my hobby, yeah. and uh, I like uh, talking, helping like you know, people. helping people out. Mm -hmm. So if you do all this preparation with mm -hmm. Isabella on the webpage, livinggive4x4.com, yes. slash book if you want to, mm -hmm. or you just enjoy the news. Um, yeah, it's all there. Mm -hmm. So basically, yeah, this yeah. is our update video. And now we are in Germany and we want to enjoy a little Germany and get fit for a bigger trip. Yeah, I and need to lose some weight before we go too. again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna do all this and uh, Matteo is also with grandparents. It's time for new adventures. Yes. We can go out there, explore. This is all we can say, we love it. Yeah. It can be stressy sometimes, but we try to live the moment. I hope you find a way to do that too. And yes. if not, as long as you're happy, this stay tuned. Matter. <laughs> see you when we see you. See you when we see you guys. Bye bye. See you in the next episode. Bye.